heading it. over Wait, to on, the doctor's office. Up to a hundred dollars a week. Finally, and what you do I have not been day. to the doctor's Download office the and say, in Groupon. probably see, over on, three years. Strawberry letter subject because living a me lie. in the doctor's she office. Can't keep living lie. Me and Shirley can't keep down. I don't know why that is so loud. Me in the doctor's office. Yeah, truthfully, I just don't trust the doctor. Most times, they are not very helpful. I feel like most times, they um, create situations. So, I just got really frustrated. I have not been to my regular doctor in probably about eight, nine years. Truthfully, I'm just going because I want a day off from <laughs> work. I'm going to be very, very honest right now. So, and if anybody from work sees this, you all better not. Just don't say nothing. Now, Jay could easily finesse you if you allow her. My team is always dominant. Will we go make it ours? It is very nasty outside. And I have a dress on and some cowgirl boots. Now, Blue Jay in the downtown. It's your time. It's your time. Don't hit my fucking line. You've been out. But... Yeah, when you go to the doctor, you don't want to have to be taking off all these layers of clothes. And so, I just have a dress and a bra on, and that's it. Wait, hold up. Wait, hold up. I think he's going to school. No oh, my, yes, it is. There's no school. That's what I said. Yes, you saw me. I know, but I'm just saying. But uh, maybe they changed it this morning. Originally, the they said on the news that there was going to be no school. But now I'm seeing kids outside with their backpacks on. And I should have checked the news before we left out because Lazayla, she basically is in the bed sleeping, <laughs> sleeping right now. And possibly she has school. So this makes no damn sense. And they done shut down. Talking about shut down. Yeah, I'm seeing kids with back. Oh no, he's a grown adult. It's closed. Cool. It's okay, so the schools. Okay, so the schools are closed. New York is needs to be a damn shame of themselves. Like, when did New York start closing down for like no snow? I gotta go get me a cappuccino. Oh my God, it has been the longest day ever. Oh my god, doing these damn taxes. And, um, I've been finished like a whole freaking hour ago. And the guy who was seeing Dimitri was on the phone with the tax people. And so he was taking forever. Go to the front and ask the lady, Are we still sitting there? I'm like, do you're supposed to be seeing people like where the hell are we gonna go like of course we're still sitting here the day was going so well like we were moving from thing to thing so well and if he would have just put down my guy like i told him to put down my guy we would have been out there out of there a long time ago but mr pierre he likes to do his own thing once his mind is set he do not veer away from that, you know, his thoughts. I'm very hungry and I'm kind of feeling like I want me some junk food even though I know I cannot have junk food. I know I cannot have junk food. I know. But yeah, I'm just having a bit of a rant right now because I just feel like ranting for whatever reason. I guess because I'm tired and so... We went to go see Medea um, funeral, and it was actually a really, really, a really good um, movie. Uh, I mean, it was kind of slow in the beginning, but as it picked up, yeah, it was it was pretty good. I'm still trying to get everything together for my birthday, and it's so funny because. The last couple of months, I've been ordering a lot of stuff for um, um, my hauls and things like that. So, the last couple of days, I haven't been getting any packages. And I've been going through, like, package withdrawal. I know, yes, I know. It's, it's the craziest thing. It really is. But, 
even when a package comes for someone else, I'm automatically thinking like, you sure that's not a package? Did you check the name? You sure that's not a package? Because sometimes I don't know. Like I order stuff and then I forget about it. And so sometimes I think that's what's, you know, that's what happened. And yes, it's so sad. It's so sad. You guys don't ever become addicted to shopping because it's just as worse as any other type of addiction. Anyway, so I'm shopping for my birthday. I mean, I need to shop for my birthday. I actually got um, two outfits for my birthday. And so I have, I have, well, let me take that back. Let me see. Do I? I'm going to do a breakfast in the morning. So we're going to go to... What is that place? I will tell you later. Anyway, so we're going to do breakfast. So, thinking, of course, I need me a breakfast outfit. So, I was going to order a breakfast outfit. And then I'm thinking, like, oh my God. You have so much stuff that you've brought already. Like, you sure you cannot use any of this stuff that you've already brought. But then it's that, see, when I just said that, it's this thing, like, right down here in my stomach. And it's like, shop, 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 shop. We already brought something for the dinner. Um, but I was thinking that I needed some heels, and then I was thinking, like, you have so many shoes in your closet, can't you use the shoes in your closet? And then that feeling in my stomach comes again, and I'm like, shop, shop. And that, seriously, like, literally, that's what I feel. I feel like I need to shop, and it's it's bad. It's bad. I mean, it's bad. It's bad. We're going out the day before my birthday. So, my birthday's on the 17th. We're going out to see nephew Tommy on the 16th and so do I have an outfit for that yeah I have an outfit for that I have the outfit but I don't have the boots and the boots that I want to buy they're not expensive expensive but they're they're not expensive they're not expensive people. Sometimes when I'm buying things, um, I think to myself like, you know what, someone can use this money. And then I'm like, but you worked. You went out and you worked hard for this goddamn money. Like, you know, like, stop feeling, no, I don't be feeling guilty. Some of I feel guilty. But even if I feel guilty, I still make the purchase. And that's the, no, it's not the sad part about it. I don't know what the sad part about it is. But... I know that I can make better use of my money than clothes and things like that. But I also, I give. I Listen, I give. I'm a giver. And I give. And, I mean, yeah, I give. So, I mean, now I'm just going to be talking. And I know you like, well, you've been talking for like the last 30 minutes. But, anyway, um, I had written something in my blog and basically I was speaking of an ex and in that blog I how do I want to say this how do I want to explain this basically okay when you have people who you've been with and you've been with for you know a while whether you've been with them romantically you've been with them just in a friendship or whatever okay you guys grow a bond together because history you know that's just like you have a girlfriend or a guy friend and those are your best friends and something happened and you know and you all stop being friends for you know it, hopefully it's something that it drastic that happens to stop you guys from being friends and so you're gonna feel like wow like you know you're gonna miss that person you're not gonna fall out of love with that person because this is something one that you've grown to love and like you know a sibling or you know whatever and it's like, okay, your relationship has been severed, but do you really sever every feeling that you've ever had for that person? I mean, in some instances, yes, that happens. You, you know, totally stop loving someone, or you grow to hate that person, or whatever the situation is. But sometimes you continue to love a person even though you are separated from them. 
And I feel like when you fall in love with someone, you, you fall in love with them. Like you love them and you love them forever, no matter what. You know, you go with your separate lives, no matter the time, the distance, whatever the situation, you fall, you, you, you continue to love that person. It has nothing to do with you wanting to be with that person. It has nothing to do with you um, possibly wanting to rekindle the friendship because for whatever reason, the friendship is over. Um, and maybe you're afraid that whatever happened will happen again. But just because you have that fear, just because you, you all are separated does not mean that you instantly stop loving that person. And even if you fall in love with someone else or if you become a friend with someone else, that does not stop the history that was built between yourself and someone else. If you have a picture of someone you used to, you know, spend a lot of time with or and then you're looking at the picture, you're going to start to conjure up old feelings. If you go to a place that you and this person used to frequent, the old feelings are going to start to rise and come to the surface. You're going to start to think about that person and, you know, whatever, so on and so on and so on, restaurants, whatever. For some of us, we can't just cut off our feelings. And if I tell you, oh, I no longer care for this person. I no longer love this person. I can't stand this person. It had to be something very, you know, detrimental that happened in the relationship. Because there is exes that I have. And oh. it's like a, like a, it, a nightmare has occurred if I imagine me and that person ever back together again and truthfully there is no ex that I have that I would want to ever get back together that's why we are in an ex relationship but that has nothing to do with how I feel about that person but that can never ever be someone for me to get back in a relationship with and that's just as simple as that but you know, you can't get upset with your partner because they had history. You know, you can't get upset about that. You have to understand that, especially at my age, I have a history. If I'm dealing with somebody and they're my age, they had history. And I have to understand that if they still have a, some type of emotions for this person, that I can respect that because I understand it. You know, but let's not, we can't be phony. And if you hate your ex, you can't expect for someone else to hate their ex. Some of us, we dislike our exes, but we still love them. You know, we, won't, we don't want to see anything bad happen to them. We want to see them happy and different things like that. And so, I really think that people need to understand the difference between loving someone and wanting to rekindle or have a relationship with someone. Because if you're with someone and they want to rekindle with someone. And the only thing that's stopping them from rekindling with that person. Is because that person doesn't want to rekindle with them. Then that's a problem. That is absolutely a problem. And that relationship needs to cease. It needs to end. You know, there's nothing that you can do because as soon as that person get an opportunity, they're going to be back with that person, especially if they're only with you in which to try to get over that person or to make that person jealous. And that's just the bottom line. But besides that, if this person is telling you that, yeah, I can get back with this person or I can at least have a relationship with this person in some form. And they choose not to do that. You have to respect that person's word. Unless you see something else different from what they are saying. But you cannot be in a relationship and not trust that a person is being honest with you. Or trust that a person will not step out of the relationship. Me personally, I'm the type of person... And it's going to sound very weird to a lot of people, but I can respect the man who tells me, you know what, I have these feelings for this person. And this is something that I feel like I want to act on. And then me being me, I might say, you know, hey, listen, I understand, you know, that, you know, trying to have a relationship with one person is very hard for a lot of us. There's a lot of beautiful people in the world. 
you know, people are living longer, our minds are very fickle, and, you know, hey, listen, you might want to, you know, experience something else, something more, and the simple fact that you came to me, you said, told me that, then I have to respect that, and I have to, you know, ask or see or ask them to please just let me know if this person is someone that you are going to want to be with or is it just for the moment and that's very important and I know like I said that does not sit well with a lot of people and that's okay because I'm not you and you're not me and the way I deal with life and the way you deal with another person deal with life you know that is going to be two different ways and um, I know for a lot of men, it just kills them for their woman or imagine their woman to be with someone else. And there's some men who, you know, as long as you doing it with them, then they're fine with it. So it's just a lot of different aspects of relationships. But I just wanted to sit here and speak about, you know, um, a blog that I posted because... But, you know, it's certain things that you have to work out in your own mind, in your own heart. And you have to know that if something bothers you to a certain degree, if you want to get out that relationship, then you have to make it known to that person. But anyway, I will talk to you guys a little later. I'm going to close this out for right now. Hold up.